Canada, under the leadership especially of Justin Trudeau, has been seen as weak. Nothing but weakness. And you know what happens when countries, leaders are perceived to be weak? Other people walk all over them. Nadine Woolwood, your candidate for Banff Airdrie, People's Party of Canada. It is a very sad day today and I want to read to you what I just read from our Canadian government regarding the people we are leaving behind in Afghanistan. Dear citizens and permanent residents of Canada, you are receiving this message because you are registered with the Government of Canada's Registration of Canadians Abroad have contacted the Emergency Watch and Response Centre in Ottawa or have had information forwarded to our department. Canada's evacuation operations have now ended. At this time, no further Canadian evacuation flights are being planned. Please note that we will continue to closely monitor the situation in order to determine what options may become available now that Canadian military evacuation flights have ended. Before I go into the second part of this statement, we have ended evacuations. So we've stopped trying to evacuate our own citizens and those who helped us in Afghanistan. Whatever happened to no man left behind? This is a international disgrace and it is an embarrassment and a stain on Canadian. The Government of Canada recognizes that there are a number, so we recognize there are a number of Canadian citizens and permanent residents who are still in Afghanistan. Until such time as the security situation stabilizes, the Government of Canada is urging Canadian citizens and permanent residents to shelter in place. Be mindful of the security environment and where possible, take the necessary steps to ensure your security and that of your family. Can you believe this? Acknowledging we are leaving our citizens behind. Until the security situation stabilizes, well, I'm sorry, but we have a responsibility to the people, our own citizens, to stabilize the situation. The government of Canada is urging Canadian citizens to run and hide. Do you know how that's going to work for the Taliban? They'll run, they'll hide, stay put until they find them. And then what do you think happens? Unlike our cabinet minister, who represents the Liberal Party, who thinks that the Taliban are our brothers, that is not the case. These people will not be treated kindly. They will lose their lives, they will be raped, they will be tortured. This is not an acceptable response. Canada, under the leadership especially of Justin Trudeau, has been seen as weak. Nothing but weakness. And you know what happens when countries, leaders are perceived to be weak? Other people walk all over them. China has been walking all over Canada for long enough, and now we are emboldening other leaders, like the Taliban. And they are now exerting their influence and pointing out just yet again, we have no leadership in this country. Countries negotiate peace when they have come from a position of power and Canada needs to reestablish its position in the world stage as a contributor to our national forces, to our allies. The UK hasn't stopped. They haven't abandoned the evacuation efforts, but Canada's, oh, we've done all we can. Sorry, let's step aside. Not good enough, Justin Trudeau. Not good enough burning our churches here on our own soil. 
problems of systemic racism which don't exist in Canada, claims that our own people have committed genocide. He's so busy attacking Canadians and now he's just proven he's willing to walk away from them. Is it not time that we elect somebody who is going to stand up and fight for Canadians, who is going to reestablish some boundaries, some principles? It's time, Canada. And time is not on our side. It's running out on the international stage. For those of you who don't know, I did work in aerospace and defense. I got to work alongside of our servicemen and women. We're there and we have an obligation to see it through. We have an obligation to fight for our, our true brothers and sisters who are still there. We cannot abandon them in their worst time of need. We need leadership in this country. It's time we use our vote, we use our voices, and we take a stand.